my manager sent me the script and she said, you know, this is something, uh, she, she said, I just started reading it and it's really good and I'd like you to take a look at it, see if it's something you'd be interested in. And I mean, I sat down and read the script and like two seconds and I was like, absolutely, called her back, like absolutely, I'd love to, so. You know, I mean, nothing against Hollywood, but there's, you know, most of the times I get scripts that don't really have a whole lot of meat to them, you know what I mean? And uh, it's pretty, pretty superficial and, and uh, not a whole lot to work with as an actor, but and you know, but to have an opportunity to play a, a character that has so much depth as Hans does and in a script that's really well, really well written, um, it's just a great opportunity. Seamless, and we. At the end of the day, I mean, we've we've gotten done everything that we need to get done, and which is which is refreshing, and not having to push things back weeks and double up on things. But uh, everything's been been very smooth. Uh, the experience of being able to create together and bring a, bring a story to life, you know, um, it's wonderful. And being able to work and like being able to see all sides of it, not just your side, you know what I mean. But getting to see it all come together is really awesome. Yeah. Um, I've I've really been impressed with the production company and the way they they've worked because people from Texas are coming in, people from Michigan, people from Europe are you know the actors are coming in and it's creating this great collaboration. Yeah, I think people would be really impressed what we did with a little bit of time and a lot of sweat. <laughs> I think there's something very reassuring for an actor to know that the director is able to like be on the outside and watch the world and shape it, but also be inside with you, like inside that character to help you like explore and and uh, readjust the scenes to like increase the intensity or like find that balance and find that rhythm. And he feels it instinctually, um, which is nice because not every director has an actor's perspective, but he has experience in that area too. And so I think that he, he reaches us really well. Done so much. I, I can't believe you know, the cast and crew that is on this set. It's just, it's mind blowing. I mean, it's, it's a great experience and it's very professional. I mean, it's everything that you would expect in a feature film, so mm. I'm looking forward to seeing the final product, yeah. and I know it's looking, it's looking great, and happy to be a part of it, so. Peter's been, Peter's been fantastic, I mean, first of all, to, I mean, to, be, to play historical characters is, is a blessing, you know, to, to have that wealth of knowledge to, to draw on, you know, like I could read his book, and I can watch the documentary and all of these things, but then also to have Peter, who not only is a great, direct, great actor's director, and allowing me to bring, you know, my own personal opinions and ideas to the role, but uh, I mean, Peter's been friends with, was friends with Hans before he passed for a, a better better part of 25, 26 years. I, I think just Hans's, Hans's strength of character has taught me a lot, and um, anytime you get to work with people like this, it's, it's always a refreshing experience, you know, to go back and, and have faith in what you do and know that, like, to be reinst reinstilled with the reasons of why you do this to begin with, you know. <laughs> Listen, I think this is, this is a very important film, and it's a very significant film, and, and one, a story that needed to be told. It's about moral conviction, and what a rare element that is in our society today. And, you know, we need films like uh, Return to the Hiding Place because, you know, it is... It is always necessary to remind people that at certain times we have to make moral choices and those moral choices may cost us you know our lives i like the fact that you know it it can talk about faith without you know without totally being preachy it's just these are people that are coming to, around each other for you know their own common good and I think that's why the hiding place and Corey Tenboom's story and Hans Hans's story is so is has still is still ringing true right now. Which is why you know there's a lot of World War II movies out there, and uh, this one has a place because this story still can ring true to a lot of people.